Coming up today on That LTD Life, I'm gonna be testing out Index Guru. This is an SEO tool that's currently available as a lifetime deal over at AppSumo. It's going to connect up your website and its sitemap.xml file. You probably got one even if you don't know. It'll take that file and it'll send all of the URLs automatically over to Google Search Console so that Google can know the pages on your website. It could be products or posts, really, it doesn't matter. But if they're indexed, they have a chance of ranking. No, this tool is not going to guarantee you first page ranking on Google, but if you don't play the game, you can't win. So this is the first step, Index Guru. Now, if you're getting a bit of deja vu, I have reviewed other similar tools in the last three to four months. Maybe you're a diehard watcher of this channel. If you are, thank you. You've probably seen Warp Index as well as URL Monitor. Both previous AppSumo deals, both are now over. So you can't get these tools anymore, but if you've got them, you're probably good to go. These really are commodities these days. Index Guru is gonna do some things better. It's gonna do some things worse, but if you got one, just stick with it. It's probably gonna do the job. I know that's not gonna satisfy all of you LTD addicts out there. So let's head over to Index Guru. I do have the baseline $49 plan. At the end of the video, I'll head back over to AppSumo, check out their pricing page, go through all the plans and details before giving you my final score zero through 10. So here is Index Guru. I know I have actually been using this tool a little bit. I tried to start over just to show you the entire process, but essentially the very first thing you need to know is that when you connect up to Index Guru, they want you to sign in with your Google account. You do need a Google account because it's gonna connect up to Search Console, right? So important to know, you only get one Search Console account that you can connect up. I think that's fine because there's no limit on how many sites you add to that account. So even if you have clients, you can just have them add you to your Search Console account, then connect that up to Index Guru. I will point out that Warp Index actually allowed multiple connections. You could have multiple Search Console accounts. I thought that was really nice, but probably unnecessary. The other option, URL Monitor, did not allow that. It was much more like Index Guru. Okay, so the setup process here is pretty easy because I've already connected Search Console, which is also very easy. You just click a button and then it's gonna see all of the sites on your account. Now this is kind of my demo account. So I've only got the one site here and it happens to be a demo site as well. I'll just choose that. If there were more sites on my Search Console account, I would see all of them here and I could choose the one I wanna add, hit add site. Goes without saying, I think at this point, but you can add multiple sites to your Index Guru account. How many depends on the plan that you choose. We'll talk about that later on. So you can see here, I've got my site connected. I'm on sites on the sidebar. Currently, I have not connected up Google or Index now. That might be confusing because we did just connect it to Google, but we didn't set up the indexing, the sending back of the data to Google when something changes on our site. So that's what we need to do. There's this other service called Index Now, which is basically uh, kind of like an open source. It's Creative Commons, um, and it's supported by things like Microsoft and Yandex. And it's very similar to Search Console in that if there's a change to your website, you can let search engines know about it. But really the one that matters most still these days is going to be Google Search Console. So to get that set up, you might think you click on the URL right here and you'd be wrong because this is gonna take you over to the site's performance. We can actually see how the site is performing over time. There is a date picker up here as well as some filters. So you can sort between keywords, pages, countries, and devices. These are all tabs as well. So if you wanna see specifically the pages, countries, or devices that you are ranking on, you can do that right here. Now this is a junk site. So the fact that I am ranking at all on it, like it's a demo site, it's created just for a online course, doesn't have any real content, but we're still getting some hits here. So that's kind of cool. No clicks, but you know, it's not a real site. Okay, the next option down is URLs. And this is where you're gonna see the URLs that have been indexed. Now, currently I don't have any that are being indexed. So we're gonna skip that for now. There's also the sitemap section. This is where it's going to find the sitemap on your website. If you've got any modern CMS like WordPress, this site runs Ghost, there's a ton of other CMSs out there. They're all going to create an XML file for you. You don't need to do anything. So just double check to make sure that a sitemap shows up here. If not, maybe check with your CMS provider for where it might be, but it's gonna be on by default. You can see I didn't do anything. It's just active in Index Guru. That's a really important step because if the sitemap is not there, it will not be able to automatically update Google if there's pages added to your site. Okay, so the next step is the important one. It's to head over to indexing and make sure this gets turned on. Now you can see that auto indexing and the Google connection are both disconnected right now. Really all we have to do is click right up here where it says connections, then go over to Google and hit settings. 
We'll hit create new, and then it's going to do all of the tech stuff for you in the background. If you've ever done this on a WordPress plugin that offers in instant indexing, you'll know that it's actually kind of complex. You got to go into the Google cloud project and create all of the stuff and connect up the APIs. It's not that bad if you're technical, but if you aren't technical, it might be a showstopper. So that is one of the perks of buying one of these LTDs is it does it all for you programmatically, meaning that all I need to do now is hit copy right here on this email, head over to search console, and they even give you a button to do that. And then you simply need to add a new user. So click right here where it says add user, paste in that email address, Make sure to change the permission over to owner. Don't be afraid of that. It's just to get all of the permissions necessary. Hit add, and then you're going to be good to go. So you head back over into Index Guru, hit save changes, and sure enough, ownership is now verified. All right, so I've got Google connected. We can close out this window, and you can see I have the Google connection with the green checkbox. The only thing left to do here is to turn on auto indexing. Then in about four hours, it's going to go through and check my website. Now I only get 200 URLs. That is one of the downsides of Index Guru. If you have a large website, you're not going to be able to check the entire site every single day. Other tools did have larger quotas here. You could buy larger plans with Index Guru. It's not possible. So that is a little bit of a bummer, but if you have a smaller site under 200 pages or maybe even four or 600 pages, which is still, you know, that's a pretty big site you're not going to need to update maybe every single day, but there's going to be situations where maybe it's a breaking news story and you want to get that info over to Google as quickly as possible. For that, there is instant indexing where you can simply paste in a URL. Let's head over to the website here. So here is Nimble Sound, the site that I've been working with, and I've got this blog post. Let's say I wanted to make sure that this got over to Google as quickly as possible. I'd simply copy the URL. So I've got that on my clipboard now. And I'm going to go back over to instant indexing, paste that in and hit submit for indexing. All right. Now I already did this one. So you can see it shows up twice here. That was me, not the tool, but yeah, you can see it's going to go ahead and it's been submitted. And now we just wait for Google to go ahead and index it and you'll be ready to roll. Next up is the monitoring section. This is where we can more closely monitor specific URLs. Once again, this is a feature you won't find in the other tool. So kind of a nice thing to have here. Let's click on insert and I'll choose a URL. How about just the root? And now that has been added. I'll add a couple more here. All right, so now I've got three pages that I'm currently monitoring. What does that mean? Well, these three pages could be the most important pages on my website. That's what I'd recommend. They will actually go through and scan those pages for broken links, images without tags, and then give it an overall score. If you want more details, you'll be able to click on a little button over here and then get that info. Now, currently the status is pending. So I've just got to wait for them to actually scan this URL to do the overall testing. Now, if you're paying close attention, you might notice in the left-hand sidebar, there are three more features, keyword research, link building, and content creator. These are grayed out and I cannot click on them. So I went over to AppSumo and I searched for an answer. I found that someone already asked this exact question. Why isn't the keyword research, link building, and content creation available? And Adam from the founder team says, these features are not generally available. Well, Mitch follows up by saying, will they become part of the original deal, deal like a tier three or tier, tier four purchase, or do you plan to charge separately for them later? And Adam responded that these are not currently included in the AppSumo deal, but they might make them available in the future. So you know what that means, that those features do not exist. They are not going to be added in the future for free. If they are, you can be pleasantly surprised, but definitely do not bank on it. All right, these URLs are still impending, but you know what? I think it's time to wrap up this deal. Let's head over to the AppSumo deal page and talk about the plans and pricing. So for tier one, 49 bucks, that's the plan I've been using. You get five domains, that's a decent amount. You also get 1000 Google page indexes per day, but a maximum of 500 per day for each domain. You also get 1000 index now page index per day. I did not actually connect up index now. To do that, you just need to add a TXT file to your website, very simple to do. So that is tier one. If you jump up to tier two, which is $100 more, you get four times as many domains, up to 20 domains, and you get four times as many Google pages index per day, yet still that limit of 200 per day, which if you've got a large site, as I already mentioned, could be a big bummer. Then if we head up to tier three, we're going to, you know, things start to multiply very, very quickly. We go from 20 domains to 50 domains and 10,000 Google page index per day. Again, limited to 200 per day per domain. 
and here's tier four, all the way up to 100 domains, and tier five, 250 domains, once again, limited to just 200 pages per day. All right, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts, but first I wanna remind you to hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. So what do I think of Index Guru? I think this is a nice tool, it's reasonably well done, but it is missing some pretty key features like the ability to change your Google Search Console account after you create the overall account. Like they are tied together. You can't get out of it. Maybe support can help you. I haven't tried that. I also don't really like how the scheduling for auto indexing waits. It's got like a set time. The other tools that I've tried in this genre will just go ahead and auto index right away. So you feel like the tool is doing something and you're not just told, hey, come back half a day later or six hours later. Then there's the idea of the performance monitoring for URLs. It does also track your overall site speed. I didn't cover that in the video, but there is an option for that or a, uh, it's gonna do that automatically. It's not even an option. Those are nice and it's nice to have those kind of all in one place, but it's not gonna be as detailed as a full on SEO tool. So the overall usefulness probably is gonna be pretty limited to an absolute beginner who's got really you know, very limited interest in monitoring their SEO. They can just kind of glance at some stats. And then there's the idea of just adding in these features over here on the left-hand sidebar. It just kind of makes the tool feel worse, right? You know, there's going to be some other features, but you don't have access to them. Like why even add those? I don't get it. I, I wish they were gone. I think the tool would feel more complete if it didn't feel like I was missing out on features. I got to admit, I'm also not super stoked the way the founder is responding to some of these questions over on AppSumo. People are saying like, hey, I've heard that the Google indexing API isn't working right now. And he just continues to reply, like there's a bunch of questions just like this. And he basically replies the same way every time. Index Guru successfully submits for indexing to Google, whether or not the site gets indexed is not up to Google. That doesn't really address the question of like, hey, you, sh you probably shouldn't be using this tool for this feature according to Google. Uh, and you know, says it again down here. Uh, does the tool use the indexing API? If yes, Google says the indexing API can only be used to crawl pages for either job postings or broadcast events. And he just says, Google's always had the stance that the indexing API is only for job posting and broadcast embeddable in a video object. And then kind of copy and pasted, Index Guru successfully submits indexing requests with Google. Whether the URL gets indexed is ultimately up to Google. Once again, after the new indexing API policy, does this still work? Sorry to hear that, we can confirm that we are successfully submitting indexing requests to Google. So I guess what people would want to know, myself included, is I don't really care if you're successfully submitting something, is anything getting indexed? Tell us that, like, we are using this tool internally, we are using it to submit our URLs and they are getting indexed, we are showing up on search results because of that indexing. Well, that's a whole different story. Now we've got some actual proof. Do you have any use cases, any case studies that you could demonstrate? But just saying like, yeah, the API didn't reject the, the submission. Well, that's not all that helpful, is it? So I got to say, I think Index Guru is probably not going to get my recommendation. I'm going to put it in the 5.9. It's a 5.9 out of 10. I think it's an OK tool, but there's just enough red flags that made me go, hmm, I might just wait till the next version of this tool rolls around because there almost certainly will be another one before too long. All right, that's gonna do it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you leave me any comments down below. If you're gonna buy anything from AppSumo, including Index Guru, I have a link in the description and that helps me out each and every time you make a purchase. It doesn't matter if you're a repeating customer or a brand new customer, AppSumo Plus or not, I get credit either way. So thank you so much for doing that. It definitely helps support this channel. My name is Dave Swift. Head over to clientapp.com, get signed up for the free email newsletter, and I'll see you in the next review.